All right, Pete Custis here, looking at 605 Heather Way. It's my client's property preview. Three bedrooms, two full baths, one half bath, 2,000 and two square foot. Um, this is actually a pretty new community. It's one of the newest ones. There's, there's one newer. This is a 2008 build, but they actually built a couple of these in the past year, um, or actually maybe two years. And there is some new construction. There might be a couple left. It's actually in the next block over, I think down that way. Um, so if you're interested in that, I can tour those two. Just let me know. But this is a community. It's pretty nice. It's uh, about a maybe half a block or block away from the pool. Uh, most of the landscaping's done. Outside maintenance is basically covered by the homeowner association. Looks like they do have to trim some of that, but uh, in general, exterior maintenance is taken care of by them. So this is the backyard here. You do have some semi-privacy. They put the trees up, um, but you can tell there's of course, backyard neighbors. Okay, so getting into the front, you'll notice some paint. Um, the HOA typically will take care of that type of thing. Um, they actually will paint the front of the door too, and sometimes they do promotions to replace stuff like this or do windows. You don't take advantage of the promotions when they have them. You don't get credit for that. Um, I don't know if they do hardware, but I know the doors typically are covered. So, Berks County, not just Berks, but in areas, there's some spotted, spotted lantern flies, just to let you know. I know that's not in California, or um, I don't think it's in the Carolinas. So, coming in here, we notice the hardwood floors. Um, not that it's a split design, but it goes up and down as soon as you come in. Let's start going downstairs. I do notice it smells a tiny bit like cigarette smoke. So I'm guessing that the past owner was a smoker. Um, usually you can clean that up, but I do smell it. So. And this is a double garage. All of the models do not have uh, two garage spaces. Some of them are just singles. And I did try to turn on the lights. They did not come on. I don't know what the bulbs are dead, but um, not a big deal. It's just a light bulb. Got a storage closet here. HVAC system. Water heater. So, and this is uh, the first floor or basement level. A lot of times when you buy these, they are unfinished when you first get them. Most of the people end up finishing them. That's basically just dirt. It looks like it's just the outside because it's grass. When it rains, it, these tend to get dirty. All the units, it, it just happens. So you got to clean them frequently. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong. It just looks like dirt. Of course, there's caulking needs to be redone and trimmed. Not a big deal, just showing you what's there. Um, this is a standard builder, could be upgraded. Nothing wrong with it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go upstairs, so. Okay, going upstairs. 
So the carpet is actually beige. Doesn't look that bad. I think the pictures that the agent's using, I don't know what they did to enhance them, but they look worse online than it does in person. Um, the windows do look they're just dirty. I think if they were cleaned, it would look much better. You know, some of this trim, like it could use some touch-up paint. Doesn't look bad at all. Screens might need to be replaced soon. They're not too bad, but that just can happen over time. <clears throat> so yeah, looking at the carpet once again, if you steam clean this, they probably would be okay. So they are a beige color. Online they look pinkish and everything looks brown. I, I'm not really sure why that is, but I, they are kind of like a beige color. Maybe they used some carpet cleaner or something that turned it a little bit of a weird color. Um, kitchen. Just a little bit of normal wear, maybe. This looks like it needs to be adjusted uh, here. Probably not that big of a deal, but. Closet. Okay, these hardwood floors in the kitchen, they actually look pretty good. Um, they don't look like they're worn too bad. There doesn't look anything unusual. This is very similar. I don't know if this is going to show up. It, it, from my point of view and how I'm looking at the light, it, it almost looks like... Um, oh, maybe it's not showing up too well. It could have possibly been a, a stain there. It could have been just a bad paint job. I don't think it shows up well on the camera. Similar thing here, just looks like trim work. And here's the deck. Decks are typically taken care of by the HOA. So um, I don't know how often, but they typically get painted and taken care of by the HOA. So here would your view be, you do see some damage on that other house. That's probably due to um, the hurricane. Believe it or not, there was a hurricane, uh, which is, or tornado or something, something unusual. So some of the units did have some damage. And I think some of the people are still working with their insurance companies to get things fixed. And here's a view from here. And we're gonna go upstairs last. All right, upstairs. Got a shower tub. Appears to be in decent shape. Tile floor. Bathroom. Some type of, like a corridor or something. And window. Then you have your laundry. This is a single. So I guess you're looking at stackables or a single unit. Um, electric hookup. I don't know if that's a gas hookup right there. Maybe it's both. I have seen some units that have dual, like a gas and electric. And a linen closet. Okay, so a little bit of marks. A little bit of rip in the carpet here. I guess you could probably just replace that carpet um, or get it repaired, but it looks like it's a little worn here. That's just a noise from the floor. I don't believe it's anything unusual, just unfortunately how they built it. A couple nails could probably take care of that noise.
closet. So once again, this is beige. You got a screen broke right here. Not that big of a deal, but obviously it's there. And here we go to the master suite. Master suite. Vaulted ceiling. Looks like somebody may have accidentally, this could be under, well, no, probably not warranted because this one is a, that last phase was built, I think, two years ago. This is a little bit older, even though they look very similar. That window right there is about the worst thing I saw as far as repairs. Um, maybe you can use air cleaning or vents if you see the vent looks a little bit dirty. Walk-in closet, and okay, what's this? Okay, it might just be from packaging or something. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like the carpet's messed up. It just looks like it may have been packaging for something. So it's a pretty big walk-in closet. Bathroom. Okay, it's missing a towel bar. Not a huge deal, but um, you got your tub. Bathroom and shower. Okay. Okay, as I was leaving, there's one thing I noticed. It looks like the trim had gotten beaten up. I know it's just foam and plastic, but it looks like the landscaping guys with their weed whacker chopped it up. So it's not a big deal. It's on the outside. It's all foam on concrete, but it's something to bring up to the HOA and have them repair. There's probably a piece of trim missing. You can see it actually terminated there. Maybe there was a small piece and it, it broke with a weed whacker. Okay, Pete Gustus here looking at 605 Heather Way uh, property preview. It is about 615, so you can see it's a pretty nice neighborhood. It's pretty quiet. Um, yep. And give me a call at 610-209-9219 if you have questions or ready to make an offer.